Hi, I'm Ian, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the VP Toolkit Concept Kit Plugin Beta Config Builder. We're going to set up a basic end display config so that you're able to run a one viewport system with end display. So, first, I'm going to show you how to run uh, the config builder. If you go to your content settings here, you go to the little folder and you go down to VP Toolkit Concept Kit. Uh, if you do not see this in the list, you may have to go to View Options and Show Plugin Content. Now uh, we're going to go to Widgets, and then we're going to go to the, conf the VP Toolkit Config, and go to Run Editor Utility Widget. Now it pops up down here and in the last video I showed you how to dock these, how I generally like everything to be set up. I'm actually going to just pull that, uh, you know, I'll leave it down here and I'll just bring this up here. Uh, so first we're going to put in our IP address. I am just going to uh, use local IP and that will work. That is what the baseline config, but if you are trying to do something more complicated, you might want to actually put in your IP address. Uh, number of screens. So what this is, the beta config builder is, de is designed for single viewport, one view into uh, your, your virtual world. So single viewport, uh, and display setups and it's designed to try and simplify the process of building the the config builder and it's just a beta slash prototype uh, but it's it's a good good way to get started uh, so the number of screens what's that what that's going to do is if you choose one it's going to put whatever size viewport you decide on uh, your first screen and then if you choose two it's going to take the size of your first screen and move it over to the whatever your your secondary screen is or a projector or something like that and then you'll be able to enter in the resolution that you want to fill that screen if these resolutions are off or anything like that you may have crashes uh, but I'll, I'll talk more about that when I get into custom uh, customizing the config for different setups. Uh, so I'm going to go with one so that it just renders on this screen that we're recording here. Uh, by default, this is set to VP1, uh, viewport one. So in the, I'm not going to get into this too much, but that is connected to right here, the uh, BP in camera stage pawn. This is where we determine which viewport we want to be connected to which screen mesh. And then here's the screen mesh that. So this is our default screen mesh that is ID'd by VP1. And then that's going to go here. And then that's going to go into our config file. And when we get into manually adjusting it, I'll talk about that some more. Uh, now we want to set the size of our screen here. I'm just going to, so I am currently on a 5K uh, IMAX screen and I have it zoomed in by and, uh, 175 in the scaling settings. So if you have trouble trying to figure out what resolution your screen is, uh, knowing how to get to this menu is pretty important. So if you bring up what you think is your resolution and it's zoomed in or something like that, make sure that you're checking your scaling settings. And then also your settings here could be off. I've had uh, LED walls uh, processors connect to the machine and then show up here. And then I had to actually manually go in here and set it to the, the resolution that it was. Uh, but most things will default to their highest resolution. So this number that I'm putting in here is just what I, I, I know that it is. What the size of it is after the scale. Oh, I'm doing a horrible job at 
144. And then, so I'm not going to worry about the second screen uh, just because I'm not going to be using it for this demo. But if you want to push it to from this screen to the second screen, you'll have to enter in the first and second as well. Uh, so we're going to determine what the resolution of our frustum is. So as you should have seen in the last video, the frustum is... Uh, what the camera sees. So you have outside of the frustum, which is your your uh, your res your reflection view. Uh, so that's where all of outside of what the camera sees, what you generally be using for the reflections on your talent or light on your talent. Um, then inside of where the camera sees uh, is your frustum, and depending upon the situation, you may have to scale that frustum quite large so you want to decide the resolution of your frustum based on the pixels of your wall and how large you're going to do it if you have a 8k wall and you have the frustum the size of the entire wall and you have a 1080 frustum you're going to be stretching a 1080 image over an 8k uh viewport and you're it's not going to you know it's it's going to be it's not going to look good. So you generally want to have it so that the frustum kind of always has a little bit of room. So if you're on an 8K screen, you may want a, a, a 4 to 6K frustum uh, based on, you know, what type of hardware and stuff you're, you're running. But I'm just going to make mine 10, uh, 1920 by 1080. I like 2K uh, around the same resolution as this, uh, around the sem same resolution as my first screen. And that has worked for me on uh, multiple 4K uh, single node systems because you're you're really if you make it too high, it's going to affect performance heavily. Okay, uh, so now we're going to move. So this is the tracking section. Uh, by default, this does not do anything. All it does is just kind of sit here, and then so you're just determined that you're going to use Live Link, which is internal in editor. But if you did want to use it for VPRN, which it takes two clicks, since my, my coding is uh, not always on point, uh, you're going to want to determine what the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another video on this specifically, using this with uh, Vive and the FreeD setup. So uh, check out that video uh, once it's out. Uh, so you're just going to put the address and whatever, and then if you... Uh, add a this button right here will add a tracking actor and that will drop in based on these settings uh, drop in a uh, a blueprint a, le a level blueprint actor basically enables you to do VPRN tracking like I said I'm going to get into that in another video and I'll go more into detail uh, if you're not going to use that I would recommend deleting it out or not putting it at all Set this back to live link, and uh, we're just gonna we're gonna build config. Highlight all of this, and then copy it. And then in the last video, uh, we made we took a end display config from the plugin and put it into I put it into my documents. I'm not sure where you have may may have put it. Uh, let's see. Here it is. So now this is the one that comes with uh, the plugin. Let's make a duplicate of that. So you're just gonna copy and then paste. I'm gonna be copy of it. And I'm just gonna name mine example beta config. And then I'm going to select all and control V. Oh, I may have messed that up a little bit. And control V. Okay, good. Uh, so now we should be able to uh let's we're going to do a test here uh 
uh, if you haven't gotten into how to do a baseline fire, just please go to my last video and check it out if you don't already know how to do it. So we're going to uh, add another config file. We're going to add the beta config here. And then we're going to hit run. I may have got my measurement off. Yes, I did. Uh, so now, if your screen is the correct size, this should fill your entire screen. But I think that I actually messed up my scaling because I usually do 200%. Uh, but so that's how you use the beta config builder. And yeah, have fun. Uh, so just in case you're curious why my scaling was off, I'll show you very quickly. Uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look at my scaling here. I think usually for uh, that 2K resolution that I had in there, I normally have this at 200. And then now I will fire this again. And it will take up the whole screen. And you always want to tap over to it to give it the best performance. If you'd like to dive in a little deeper, please go to my more advanced video where we'll be manually adjusting the end display config for single node and then also for multi node systems. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you've liked this video and check out vp toolkit.com for more information and more videos.